Hello guys, um, Mustang Life here. Uh, I've been wanting to post this video for a week now. But uh, unfortunately, I ran into some issues with uh, my vehicle. My uh, 2005 Mustang GT has been having some running issues. I've been working on that all week. And uh, so I was finally able to make this little intro and um, to bring this video to you. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. And uh, part two should be up by next week. Unless the car explodes on me, then it probably won't be up. Welcome back to another year. The Mustang Life Diecast Review. In this, in this video and another video, uh, we're going to be showing you all these diecasts that have just come in. Uh, it's going to be a good time. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, this first car is a Jeff Jof uh, 1995 Mustang. Uh, these cars are not nicely detailed, but this is a replica of John Coletti's 95 Boss Mustang. Uh, the real car had a 429 Boss engine in it, and by this crappy little... Uh, engine plate you can see that the car is detailed as that car but all other details are pretty rough as you can see here the interior is just a couple stickers but I need to add this to my collection I got it cheap off of eBay $18 shipped I had to do some cleaning up and some other stuff uh, these are a little bit different um, on the left, you see the Fast and Furious. It's a 143rd scale uh, dike, uh, resin replica of Roman's 1969 Ford Mustang. Uh, in real life, this is called the Anvil Mustang. And I'll show a picture in a second of what happened to it. Yep, it got ran over by a tank. Uh, Mustangs never seem to uh, make out well in the Fast and Furious movies, uh, except for Tokyo Drift when they swapped in the Nissan engine. Uh, on the right, you'll see um, two 164 scale die casts from uh, M2 Machines. I rarely collect these. Uh, I found these at Walmart. Um, they're limited editions. Uh, the top one is a 70 Challenger ground pounder and on the bottom is a 67 Mustang uh, Shelby ground pounder. Uh, I thought they were cool looking uh, so I picked them up. Uh, stay tuned for part two of this video where we'll be going over the boxed uh, 118 scales from the beginning of the video. If you like this video please like, subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications for when